What is up, my friends? Welcome to another episode of Your Deck Live, a show where I play Your Deck live on stream. This is some Pioneer, and this is a deck from Jubal's 58. We're playing some God Pharaoh's Gift. God Pharaoh's Gift, 7 mana artifact. Beginning combat on your turn, you may eternalize a creature from your graveyard. That means make it into a 4 4 copy, and it gains haste. So, God Pharaoh's Gift, get this thing in play. Get a creature back every turn and go nuts. We also have Engage to the Afterlife, the amount of artifact. Uh, whenever a non token creature dies, you gain a life in loot. Then when you have six or more creatures in your graveyard, you can pop this and go get your God Pharaoh's gift. So that's your uh that's your plan. That's your plan. Now, this is the original list submitted by Jubals. And things I liked, things I didn't like. Uh, our curve was a little too high, didn't have any one drops, not enough enablers. I didn't love Emery that much because we were playing zero artifacts to make it cheaper. So at three mana, Emery is like kind of eh. Um, didn't love the Ashiox either. So this is the list that was submitted initially. But we always tune things up here on Your Deck Live. All right. So here's my tuned up version. Uh, made a few changes, tightened a few things up. The mana base also needed help too. Uh, too many buddy lands. We got to have our lands come into play untapped. So. Added a few things. We lowered the curve. Uh, cut, cut a Chupacabra, cut two Emery's, um, shave things down a bit. I left the one Thassa's Oracle. I'm assuming you want this for scenarios where we're going to, like, deck, I guess. I don't know. The Oracle doesn't seem very good to me, but I don't know. I left the one in because I figured it was there. I didn't want to change things too much. But a couple of big additions here. Uh, one being Minister of Inquiries. Um, we gotta, We want to start self-milling as soon as possible. And Minister is sort of like a Hedron Crab on Suspend. Uh, turn 2, mill, t mill 3, turn 3, mill 3. And uh, we're playing no other energy cards. This is just a card that says mill 6 cards, basically. Which is great. So we have 4 Suppliers and 4 Ministers ready to mill. Um, we're also playing 2 Deathrite Shamans because with all this self-mill, Shaman's on. Alright, Shaman's going to be a mana creature. It can be a little, uh, can be a little extra utility here and there. Uh, powerful card. Needs help, but we have the help already. So, insurance against decking. I highly doubt we're going to deck, but we'll leave in the one thousand oracle. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we got freebooters here to clear the way, which is pretty nice. Two aetherborns. Um, a little hard to cast, but having lifelink is important for um, staying alive. Uh, very good with the uh, god pharaoh's gift. I'm not huge on these. I think there might be better options than aetherborn, but we'll see. Wayfinder's phenomenal. Obviously, filling the graveyard, finding lands. Of course, Champion of Wits is very good at a number of things. It fills the graveyard, as well as helping to find Gate, as well as being an insanely good card to get back off God Pharaoh's Gift. Comes in, we draw four, discard two, which is awesome. That's really cool. Left two Emery's. Um, it is nice we can we can cast a Gate out of the graveyard off of Emery, so I didn't want to cut all of them. But I think playing more Emery's would require a pretty drastic rebuild of, like, playing Springleaf Drum or some other artifacts to make it cheaper, because... At three, Emery is only, only medium. Now, there's a sneeze trying to guest star on the show. It's not ready. It's not ready yet, though. Meyer Triton's interesting. Meyer Triton. Oh, Triton's much better. That is that is as, as enough life. Like as Death Touch. Never mind. Um, so um, that's Emery. We left in. We cut one Chupacabra, but still a nice thing to have access to. Um, obviously, you can come back and kill something. Sadisi so Brood Tyrant's a really cool card. Um, it's good off God Pharaoh's Gift, it's good at milling, it's good at kind of just doing a lot of things. I don't know how many we want, but as far as top end cards go, it's pretty sweet. And the card that I like the most, that I think is one of the better cards in this deck, is Plague Crafter. I love this card. I think this card is very, very powerful and very underplayed in general. Um, so 3-2 for 3, each player sacrifices a creature or a Planeswalker, and if they can't, they discard. So it always does something. You know, the fear of a card like Fleshbag Marauder is that they have no creatures. But this can kill the fairies. If we don't have anything, we can still cast it and kill a Planeswalker. And then it puts creatures in the graveyard. This might be a four of, honestly. We're only playing two. I don't want to change the deck obscenely, but we can sacrifice our supplier. Or sacrifice our minister if it's been, if it's been used twice. Or sacrifice a Wayfinder. So a lot of things sacrifice. Very powerful card. It's our goal in the first few turns of a game... Just kind of muck our opponent up. Play a blocker to kill a creature to just slow the game down so we can get our God Pharaoh's Gift in play and win the game. 
I think Play Crafter is awesome. Um, might want more of those. Uh, and then, of course, we have our Gates and our God Pharaoh's Gift. Every card that I get is a creature, which is great because we have a solid density here. You know, we ideally want a Gate on turn three and activate it on turn four or just cast Gate and pop it on turn five um, also. So that's the main deck. Of course, the fear is... The fear is Graveyard Hate. And we have some answers on the board. Um, we have some Reclamation Sages. We don't really have a good plan B here. Um, obviously, you know, Kite Self Rebooter, Champion of Wits Beatdown is a thing, um, but not a great thing. So we probably need to work a little bit on a plan B. We have some Rex Ages. We can kill a Rest in Peace or two, but eh. Walking Ballista is good with Gate, because you can play it for zero and just loot for free, but it's like not a great card in the deck overall. It's kind of it's kind of eh. So I don't know. Not really thrilled on that. Cyborg wise. Um, what about Force Scarab God over Gifts? Gifts Passage? What? What's Gifts Passage? Uh, Scarab God's really, really slow, so. Oh, this is Sadisi Broodshire. Um, so, um, Thoughts Easy for Combo Decks, an extra Play Crafter, extra some pushes. We do have two Rex Ages to kill, uh, Enchantments and stuff like that, so rest in peace and so on and so forth. Uh, we have Hostage Taker, an extra Troop of Cobra, really powerful against creature decks. Uh, one on more ego for combo decks. Uh, a couple Ashiox for graveyard decks. A couple damping spheres. Um, wouldn't mind some sort of sideboard plan that pivoted a bit and allowed us to play like just a, a no graveyard game. But it seems really hard to do, honestly. So um, I might actually want a third Reclamation Sage. Now that I think about it, just to make sure we have answers to rest in peace. I guess trophy works too. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll let's try it. Let's leave it like this. Ashiox also a problem too. But so um, that's the deck. Uh, definitely a powerful strategy, but a very linear strategy. So we will see how that works out for us. Again, this is Jubal's tweaked up Salt Eye God Pharaoh's gift deck here on Your Deck Live, the show where I play Your Deck live on stream. Diva Sanity is a good one. I like that one. That's a cool idea. We'll keep that one in the back burner. All right, we're going to see how this goes. Um, Thief of Sanity is pretty cool. That's a, that's a kind of like self contained card that can win the game by itself without the graveyard. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Um, but let's go. So, Your Deck Live. Let's see how to, have, how to have your deck on Your Deck Live. Well, it's pretty simple. I have a website. It is jimdavismtg.com. And something uh, like that for There it is. So, you can hop on over. And uh, first, go to the website, check it out. Of course, my articles are on here, my sponsors, all my social media, pictures. Look a little slow today. There it is. All my articles, of course, and then of course you go to I Play Your Deck, and all the information is right here. That's right. There it is. So, how much it costs, what do you get, how to submit, donate now, etc., etc., etc. That's all on there. And the queue, which is loading, is pretty full right now, so be aware that it takes a little bit. Emery can get Ballista? Yeah, but Emery is like only a, a small part of the deck, so. Let's go. Your deck live. Uh, opponent. Opponent, please. No. Don't go anywhere. Please, come back. Opponent is trying to social distance himself from us. Hopefully everyone's doing, doing being safe out there. Obviously the world's in a pretty crazy place right now, so appreciate you all hanging out. Appreciate uh, you all hanging out, basically. Question for the memes. Predictions on when we're going to make a field of field of the dead deck for Historic. I would like to play Historic at some point. Um, there's just so many formats right now, it's hard to keep track, honestly. So, any modern today? Nope. All Pioneer, your deck lives today. One that I roll going first. And uh, a perfect hand. Let's keep. You got to start on, on turn one here. You got to start on turn one. So, yeah, I had to add, had to add the one drops. Um... All right, so get some energy. Say go. We need to draw land, but ooh, mono red, interesting. And another minister. Okay, we're gonna um, we're just gonna play a freebooter here. I think uh, we could play minister and tap land, but we're not really. We need to find lands. Booter might slow him down a little bit. Um.
Meyer Triton is kind of cool. Meyer Triton is po definitely a possibility. I like Meyer Triton. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. It's also like a reasonable card. To just like if they if they graveyard hate us, it's still like a fine two one. So right, we got we got a boot here. We got a minister. I think we're gonna boot. Give them the boot, the roots, the radicals. Give them the boot. You know I'm a radical. Their hand is Rampaging Ferocidon, Hazard, Four Lens. All right, well, we gave him the boot, all right. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I guess you're saying go. Don't forget to stretch. Yes. It's a good idea. Good idea. That should be a uh, uh, a channel point thing. Force me to get up and stretch. That's a good one. All right, there's your mountain. Snap, double block if they attack. Snap. Easiest double block of my... Eh, maybe not, actually, because we only, we only have one mill on this thing so far. I'm going to block with the booter. All right, they stomp anyway. All right, sure. So, they just stomp. It's fine. We mill creature, creature, creature. All right, so we're, we're already there on, on Gate of the Afterlife. Uh, we just got to, like, draw lands and not die. Did it. Um, so we just play, play Gate and say, go. Yeah, all right, we have... We need to put one more creature in the graveyard. Um, but we are, like, almost there otherwise. They do have Ferocidon, which is pretty annoying, but... We have five creatures in the bin. We could just minister and play tap land, try and preserve our life total a little bit. But we're taking pretty big hits here. Play gate. We also can play Emery for cheaper if we play gate too, so. Alright, sure. Just do it. Just do it. Unfortunately, we drew some uh, we drew some shock lands and not not fast lands this game, so we're taking some damage, but um, still not the fastest hand from them. So they have Mute Vault, draw God Pharaoh's gift. That's not the best draw ever. Uh, so we can't activate yet, unfortunately. We need to wait a turn because we didn't draw a way to mill cards, but we can uh, or draw a land also that would have done it. Uh, might be dead here, honestly. I don't know if we, be, 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 we can beat the Ferocidon. Because we're going to lose life for every creature we get back. Um, I think I like Emery Minister. We're taking two and then three. Oh boy, being one creature short sucks. Alright. Frozodon's definitely uh, pretty, pretty good against us. Alright, we milled the requisite creatures. So we also just can't gain life, so... And nothing in our graveyard is that good. So we're on like a, a limit here. We're gonna go to eight off their frozen on attack. And then we're on we're on a limit of how many creatures we can get back, and they have Hazard too. I think we're probably gonna lose this game, realistically. Um We couldn't gain life even if we had a way to go to gain life. We we need to hit a a chupacabra. A Can't even gain life off the gate. Frozen on sucks. I hate this card. Stupid card. What's up, mage? How's it going, my friend? On the front page? Front page of what? Alright, so they're attacking. We're going to block with Emery. Like the front, like like Twitch.com front page. 
Seems unlikely. Uh, Alright, so we got an 8 here. And they're going to play a Goblin Chain Whirler. Gross. But... Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, Chain Whirler kills my Emery. And now they're... Now we're at seven? Yeah, I think we're just dead. Well, Mage, I'm happy you're here, my friend. I appreciate it. We're going to loot, discard God Pharaoh's Gift... Untap and draw Death Ray Shaman. We just need the old Chupacabra. Where's the old Chupski, you know? We're just dying. We're just dying over here. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we mill? Chupacabra. Nope. Yeah, we're just dead. Uh, we can't be frozen on. Today you learned Death Ray Shaman is Pioneer Legal. Yep. All right, it's kind of a tough game. Um, we kind of just lost to Ferocidon straight up, honestly. <laughs> Pretty embarrassing. Um, I wish we had, like, Shriek Maw or something, you know? Meyer Triton would have been good. Meyer Triton certainly a card to consider. Our Emery was not great. Um, I did shave down a Chupacabra, but... Normally we can ignore their creatures. You know, normally they're not that good. Oh, Playcrafter would be great, too. Oh, we, we know we're Playcrafters for sure in the deck overall. Would have been phenomenal that game. Let's bring in Playcrafter, uh, Hostage Taker, and some pushes. Let's cut some of the Clunkers, DC, and the Oracle. And honestly, the Booters weren't very good either. I guess Oracle blocks, but not particularly well. Um, yeah, this is fine. Let's try this. What's up, filthy net decker? Yeah, I think Playcrafter might be like the key to this deck. Meyer Triton seems cool too. I'm not sure about these freebooters either. And then Chupacabra, like, it just doesn't look like a strong card, so why I shaved one, but. Maybe it's like a necessary piece, you know? Obviously, like, we play against a non-creature deck, and Chupacabra looks, looks, looks like an idiot, so... Right, I'll try again, try again. We're, we're on the draw that game, too, I think, right? Ooh. A little gifted Aetherborn, trying to, uh, to earn their keep. We can keep this. Not the easiest card to cast in the world, but... Soul Scar Mage. Fatal Push. Okay. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we're not playing the Adventure 04. Uh, I think four cards isn't really enough. I think that the uh, the energy creature's better. At that point, we have enough one drops. So. Lava Coil. Our natural enemy. Okay. Exiled it. Killed it. No value. A Chupaka. Pretty easy champion here. Wouldn't mind drawing some fast lands over some dual lands. It'd be pretty cool, but... Uh, draw two, discard, god... Fair god not now! <laughs> Murder's Rider is interesting. I did I did consider that as well, but... Casting it is kind of eh. And it is a lifelinker when you mill it, but I think that casting the front side just seemed too bad. So, alright, we'll get rid of the uh, the Marsh and the, the god Pharaoh's Gift. Next turn we have Emery plus Chupacabra, or Eidolon the Great Rebel? Okay. A Chupacabra. Snap block. Draw land. Supplier. So obviously Chupacabra can kill this, but I think we're just going to Emery and we'll Chup it next turn. A Chupacabra. Yeah. We'll just take two in Emery, I think. I think it's worth it. It's worth the two damage. 
Land, 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 death right shamans. Not the best mill of all time, but. Lightning Strike, Emery. Alright, so we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to 12, but we get the Chupacabra, the uh, Eidolon, for no damage. Lander spell is fine here, sure. And they play Ferocidon, which is obviously super irritating, but we do have the uh, the Fatal Push for it, so... Um, we have to have some of our own stuff die, which is doable. Um, probably just give him the boot. So like they can't. We, we, we want to block desperately. Um, True revolt. So take one. Their hand is. They just never have spells. Torbrand, Torbrand, Soul Scar Mage, Chain Whirler. Good lord. Why are they playing Prowess Creatures? They never have spells in their hand. Okay. Um. We have one, two, we have two creatures in the graveyard? Three. God, they have a Torbrand in play with a with a Frosidon. We just like can't ever win. Um Alright, I guess we're playing Minister. I should ban this Ferocidon card. God damn it. We're just like hard locked. We have, we have push up hoping they, hoping they would attack, but they didn't obviously. Now whenever, whenever we play a creature, we take three. What am I supposed to do? And now that now they put Chain Roar next turn, they just kill all of our stuff. Jeez. Uh, I mean, you get to, like, kill the, the Ferocidon when they Chain Whirler, I guess. But we're, like, pretty dead here. And they only take one. That's just, like, cheating. Doomsday Alarm, we're getting crushed. We're going to three. That was a pretty brutal beating here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're drawing to like basically nothing, I would assume. Uh, pretty sure we're dead on board, but... Rampaging Ferocidon, ruining our day. Yes, we are we are dead, we are the dead on board. So, all right. Um, and they have a kill spell. All right. Uh, and they have a braid too. Wow, that was that was a unbelievably brutal beating. Um, if we had drawn Playcrafter, it wouldn't have been as bad. So. One of the fears, of course, of playing a linear deck is that you don't do enough to interact with your opponent, and we did not do enough to interact with our opponent, and we got crushed. Uh, so that's a pretty strong count towards Playcrafter being awesome. Um, hopefully we will not play against any more uh, Rampaging Ferocidons. That would be ideal, of course. Remember, folks, I have a shirt. Co-us.apparel.shop, my new shirt. Join the pile drivers. Join the squad. And uh, the shirts are super comfortable, super awesome, great design. Big thanks, Coalesce, for uh, for being awesome and making me a really, really cool shirt. 
Check it out. Call us, Barrel Nut Shop. Promo code Jim10, 10 percent off your order. They also have great, great other designs too. Lots of great magic shirts. Check it out. Call us apparel dot shop. I'll check out the hex holder. I know we can't go outside right now, but once we can again, get a hex holder. Holds four double sleeve decks. Holds hand sanitizer. Holds your zibby, your pad, your pen, your play mat. Everything you need for a magic tournament. Right inside the hex holder. Buy one. Thehexholder.com. Promo code Jim10. Check it out. Thehexholder.com. No, no languish. No languish. Yeah. Um, so immediately, I just want more, more play crafters. And Gifted Aether Born... The problem with Gifted Aether Born is it's hard to cast, and most decks can just kill it. So while it, it is a good blocker, it just dies a lot, which is not super cool. Um, so I think cards like Plague Crafter... Meyer Triton's cool because so it still does something. Meyer Triton's pretty cool. Yeah. As hamsters and dogs are immune to the coronavirus, the SG Tour should have events just for them to play magic. That's a great idea. Crimson Crossfire says, the hex holder is the best. I use it for tournaments. Awesome. That's great. Testimonials, live in chat. And no one wants to play against us. Opponents are trying to socially distance, distance themselves from us. So, look at more sponsors. Cardboard Live. You see the overlay right now? That's Cardboard Live. If you're a content creator, please get involved with Cardboard Live. And, uh, yeah, they're just awesome. If you're to just make magic, make watching magic on the internet so much better for everyone. Check it out, Cardboard Live. Uh, again, email James to get in the beta if you're a content creator. Get involved with Cardboard.Live. Let's go. All right, uh, this hand is pretty good. Triple one drop, gate to the afterlife. Love it. Question of what do we play on turn one? Uh, I think it's Deathrite Shaman. But I'm not sure. If we minister on one, we can't supplier and death right on two. So if we draw another one drop or two drop, we can cast it off the thing if we had a land, so. Hot Shaker is pretty good. The Hot Shaker over Chupacabra debate is definitely a very real one. Wayfinder? That's really cool. So we get to go supplier. Mill. Hit. Sadisi, Death Right, Land, and now we can uh, exile the land and play Wayfinder. Add a green. Sanctum or Breeding Pool, love it. Hit two creatures, love it. Currently have three, four creatures in the bin. We're almost there already. Knight of the White Orchid. One Beardy Boy, seven month resub. Welcome back, my friend. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Seriously, I love you all supporting me in these troubling times. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Anafenza is one of the cards I can combo with quickly, which is scary. Yeah, I don't like the Stasis Oracle at all. All right, so we're going to play Gate and Minister, and we're going to probably God Pharaoh's Gift the next turn. Oh, getting back Playcrafter with God Pharaoh's Gift's insane, too. Yeah, we got to be Playcraftering all day, every day. Um, all right. Let's play Gate. Play Minister. Your turn. All right, there's your knight. They have succeeded in getting a land out of their deck and making a 3-3. Three, three. Hashtag synergy. Getting CDs is also pretty good too, though. Baffling end. That's just baffling. I mean, they hit the the minister. We're not actually not online yet, which is kind of crappy. Uh, all right. Another minister. Okay. Um. We like need stuff to die. Yes, I think Blake Graffers. I think I had the right idea, but I didn't push it hard enough. 
I added the two playcraft to the deck, but I should have put the full four in. I, I was very stupid of me not to. Playing Minister and Oracle, just ship it, whatever. Attack. Go ahead, block. Coward. You won't. You won't. Yes, this would be a very good play crafter. Alright, so I take some damage, play Thassa's Oracle. I should play the Minister first. Oops. Freebooter and Gate. I would say bottom, bottom. Play Minister. And. I guess we're going to play Land. Do a free double dip? We'll see. We'll see how things go. I might play one extra match. Daxos, blessed by the sun. They have Ballista and Heliod. We are Karn the Great. Come on! Are you serious? If I see enough hype in chat, I will drop this league right now and fix the deck and play a full new league. I gotta see an insane amount of hype though. That's a free. That's a. That's a whole match in the game for free. I want to add more play crafters. Where's my hype in chat? Let's go. I didn't see a lot of hype in chat. I will scoop this league right now. I will fix the deck even more, and I will play it in a new league. Hype in chat, please. DJ, thanks for following. Appreciate that. If you haven't followed, just hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. YouTube folks, please take a second, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. Do it. Do it. All right. That's what we're doing. Get me out of here. We can fix this. We can fix this. Who plays Karn in Mono White Devotion? Who are these people? You know? Who are they? Loud noises. Alright. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to fix this. We're going to fix this. This is my fault. I tuned the decks beforehand, and I did not tune this deck well enough. This is totally my fault. Okay, so, four playcraft are not close. Um... What? What are you doing? Um, no Oracle. No Aetherborns. Add Deathrite. Shave a Sidisi. This is 59 cards. I'm not sure if the booters are good enough. Um, like, they're cool, but they just don't do much against, like, they, and against both the decks you play against, they just don't do anything. They were going to board these. This is 63 cards. Okay. And then, I think we're going to, uh, we're play one Sadisi, I think. And we're gonna 
play the hot sticker main. So you have one hot sticker, two chupacabras. Um, so we have three death right, four wayfinder. So we have a, a bunch of ways to mill and turn on death right shaman. Four playcrafters, two emeries. Okay. Then what, what were we saying in the sideboard? We went, we went a thief of sanity, right? I like that idea a lot. Do I not own those? Where, where are they? Why aren't they here? Why aren't they here? El, El, Elvias, Elvias, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Welcome, my friend. Karaoke machine resub. Three months. Appreciate it. Goose. Eh, I don't think we want goose. I don't know if we want the Emery's. Honestly, Emery seems pretty pretty mopey. Um. Okay, I like the idea of this. Let's do that. Um. Like three thought sees two push. I don't think I like Ashiok. What's wrong, Crimson? Uh Damping Sphere, Ashiok, Ego, Thief. I mean, the booters aren't good. Subscribe for the hype. Awesome, my friend. Appreciate it. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Um let's forget the ego. And we dropped the leak. I decided that I, I made deck building errors in my rebuild, and I didn't do a good enough job. So, I also got, got clowned, and uh, I wanted to fix things. Um, booter, thief. The thing is, if you want to have kind of a plan B in the board, then it's um, then it's uh, it's harder to have sideboard space for other things, of course. Ashiok. No, we need graveyard hate, right? Let's try this. So, give me one second to get these cards here. And while we do that, we're going to hear a word from our sponsor, bcwsupplies.com. bcwsupplies.com, the best sleeves in the market. The Elite 2 deck card sleeves, not particularly close. Buy a five pack of the, the Elite 2 deck card sleeves, get them for less than $6 a pack. With my promo code, Jim10. That's right, ten percent off your order, Jim10. Rotting Regisaur. Um, that's not a bad plan B, I guess. But I don't think I don't know. That's a little farther, I think, than I want to go. Uh, yes, BeastDevSupplies.com. Check it out, of course, and uh, go buy some sleeves. All right, they also make great binders, great deck boxes. It's all on there. I'm purchasing. These Meyer Tritons and Thief of Sanity for one hard earned event ticket. I'm not even renting them, I'm just buying them. That's how committed I am. I am that committed. Agent of Treachery? That's a bit much. That's a little far, I think. Give me those cards. Give me those cards. Alright, so. Um, I think I think an Emery's not a bad idea. Let's go to an Emery, and maybe just four death, four death right Shaman, honestly. Because they have diminishing returns, but Shaman was pretty good. Uh, I can also play like two booters in the main. Another hot stick or two. The factor fiction creature, too expensive. Um... Graveyard, Emery. That's like an Oz Jigger. Alright. This is our new deck. We fixed it. We fixed it. We fixed it. Jubals, what do you think? You're getting like a free mini double dip here. So, uh, you're, whatever you think should be positive because you're getting a free double dip. So, let's go. We do, the, we do it live here on the stream, right? We do it live. Pioneer League. Let's go. Tickets in the, in the blender. I'm throwing money in the garbage for you, my fine viewers. Hope you're enjoying it. Raise your hand in chat if you enjoy this uh, this rebuild here. Merciless Executioner? I think it's a little too far. It's just too much worse than Playcrafter. 
Let's go. Let's go. Raise your hand and chat. Raise your hand and chat. Let's go. All right. Now we got our play crafters and we're ready to roll. It's all about the process. It's all about the process. The fourth death ride shaman could be a thing. It does seem very good in the uh, the early turns you saw from that game. Let's go. Okay. Um, we can keep this because we almost assuredly have a turn three brood tyrant. So on the play, this is fine. We can draw more, draw more fast lands. We always draw too many duels, but. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Leroy! Jenkins. Llanowar Elves. Okay. This be another Karn deck? It'd be really annoying. Emery, Lurker, Valak. Right. Seder Wayfinder, let's go. Find me the way. This is the way. Okay. Now, we could just leave the Blooming Marsh in the graveyard so we can cast it easy next turn. Yeah, we're going to do that. Oops. Didn't take the land. I'm a dum dum. Okay. Let's see who gets to DC his ear. These are two cards in my hand that I'm not really sure about. Wolf Willow Haven, say go. Sure. Supplier's pretty good. Uh Make me a black mana. Brood Tyrant. So, when, whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, mill three. And whenever one or more creature cards is put into your graveyard from your library, make a zombie. So, every time you mill, including other things too. We mill, hit a creature, make a zombie. Mini Grave Titan. And the next one we're going to mill a bunch of cards also and make more zombies. So hopefully it's fast enough to beat their uh, their Nissa or their Karn or whatever they got here. Alright, sure. Uh, that's a really tempting block. Um, so they animated the land with the haven on it, and they're attacking with it. So obviously we'd be trading our Sidisi for it, and losing Sidisi, which is going to make a bunch of tokens next turn. I assume they want to cash a 3-drop. Oh boy, um, this is, they are posing quite the question here. I feel like we need CDC. Is it to make three tokens next turn? I think we need that to overcome the Nyssa. Should I suck it up, take it. Like, they're making the choice to do this, right? You know? Sure. Land, land, please. No, land, spell, damn it. Alright. Let's untap. Draw. That's not bad. Um, that does mean we will not be uh, playing Emery and Supplier this turn, but it's two triggers off a of Supplier. It's pretty good. Man, Playgrapper's so good. What are we thinking not playing for Playcrafters? 
What were we thinking? So, mill three. Hit a creature. Triggers a DC. Make a token. And we're going to... I guess we're going to just... We attack a CDC with this, this, this. We can't kill Nissa, obviously. We can make some attacks. Make a blocker back. I guess we're going to use the death right and not take two. Add one red to my mana pool. Sack the supplier. Mill three cards. Hit a creature. Great. Yes, it is nice seeing Deathrite Shaman being played as a synergy card, not just a broken, busted, stupid card. Alright, and then we attack Nyssa. Mill again. We should get a token like literally every time off CDC. So. Another one. It blocks a DC. Nissa takes three. I mean, they might have a good turn next turn. So, CDC made four zombies, which I think is okay. I think we're happy with that. We've got a bunch of stuff in play, and they've got a bunch of mana, obviously, but. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh god. Karn's pretty annoying because Karn turns off our stupid gates, but... They're not, like, protecting it super well, honestly. What are they gonna get here? Like... Sky Sovereign? The boat? I mean, Emery can cast our graveyard stuff, which I actually didn't consider last turn. Um, I mean, they haven't Nissed yet. But we're going to be able to kill both Planeswalkers probably, right? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good hard look. This isn't triggering blocks, right? No? Okay. So. Not a good draw, but sure. Uh, they have one blocker, so you can go. Nissa. 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 Karn, Karn, Karn. We're probably just dead to the boat in two turns, but we're gonna keep playing, I guess. So that sucks. So, they block and kill Playcrafter. Both their Planeswalkers die. We just die to their creatures. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. All right. I mean, that was obviously a pretty good hand from them. Um, maybe we should have blocked the Haven with the CDC. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was wrong. Um, maybe that was wrong. No, they, they would just kill my Emery with the, with the boat. So, we, we also can't activate the... Oh, we can, but they, they just killed the Emery of the boat, so. Um, might have been right just block, a CDC, block with CDC that turn. Alright, so, unfortunately, their Karns are, like, the stupidest thing ever because they just turn off our, our gates. They have, like, this main deck hate card in their deck that turns off gate and can get Tormod script, which really sucks, honestly. Um, might have interesting thoughts, these. I don't think you want Thieves Sanity. Um, it's probably just like Thoughtseize, maybe even Freebooter, honestly, because they're, they're, uh, their non-creatures are so important. I don't think push matters. 
Killing a land orb is not what we want to be doing. So let's take these. Let's cut the Sidisi, the Emery. Um, and what else? Yeah, Karn's stupid. Uh, just like Stony Silence, passive for no reason. Just lame. What's Shiva got? Barrow's gift. Like, I think we want all the Playcrafters and all the Chupacabras and all the Hostage Takers. We want the Enablers. Um, no, we do not want Damping Sphere. That is very, very narrow. Um... The boot, like, taking Garn or Nissa is pretty good. Cut Champion of Wits. I feel like Meyer Triton's probably worse than Champion of Wits. Yeah, let's cut two Tritons. Okay. What are Rex Age for? We should not we should like not let them carn us, so. Hmm. It's main deck Karns causing problems. Terror Nile 5. Thanks for your sub. Appreciate that. Uh, Sand's dope. I'm the king of the world on a boat like Leo. All right. Bow sank. Death Rite Shaman, go. Set up for Seder Wayfinder into Thoughtseize. Like it, like it, like it. Alright. Elvish Mystic. Mine is banned in multiple formats. Alright, Wayfinder. I like to get two lands here. We did. Blooming Marsh. Perfect. Add a black. Thought sees you. Yeah, maybe the fourth Death Rite Shaman should be a thing. Their hand is Burning Tree Emissary. Jade Light Ranger. Haven Hydra. Uh, so their hand's pretty mopey, honestly. No real payoffs. Let's take the Hydra. And like Burning Tree plus no Nykthos is whatever. Haven's whatever. Jade Light's okay, but our freebooter looks kind of bad because we're not really gonna be finding a uh, a thing to hit most likely. But Hydra kills Death Right Shaman and actually does stuff. So Forest. Burning Tree, Haven, Unsap, and draw, Watery Grave, okay, nothing really worth killing just yet. Okay, well, we didn't have any lands, which kind of sucks. We Now we have the... The creatures only have five creatures in the graveyard, too. Eh, it's pretty awkward. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just saying go. I mean, we also like just haven't drawn a gate. We milled one, but didn't draw one, which is not ideal. Uh, we are not playing Euro, correct? Jade Light Ranger. What is this? A ranger? God damn it. So now our top card is Nissa, we can't hit it with Freebooter. Tilt. Oh man. I guess we can Chupacabra a uh a Lanarolf. Maybe they can't cast it. All 
Alright, so they have one card, and it's obviously not a land. So, we just Chupacabra uh, an Elvish Mystic, and hope they can't cast Nissa for like a turn or two. And then, we, and, then, and then we can boot her the Nissa. That's perfect, actually. That's great. Whoa, doggy. Uh, so you're up. Take a smack from Jade Light Ranger. They draw Nissa. We boot it. And they have some other card in their hand that's also a non land that they can't cast yet. I would love to cast Champion, I really would, but if you don't draw a land, we can't boot, which is not acceptable, so we're going to, uh, we're going to boot here. They got another Nissa in their hand, but they, they topped the Nissa, so we're going to boot. Give them the boot, the roots are radicals, give them the boot, you know I'm a radical. Why would they top Nissa if their hand was Nissa already? That doesn't make any sense. All right, I, I guess, sure. I mean, I guess I'm an idiot and I should have killed the Elvish Mystic. That's really lame. That is really, really lame. Okay, well, at this point, we don't care about giving them... This is actually kind of, like, fine, I feel like. Just double block. Eat a creature. They're pretty light on lands, so if we can just keep killing lands, it's, like, fine. Yes, Navas was also a land in the graveyard for uh, for Death Watch Shaman, which is kind of cool, so... Okay. Um, I want to save our Choops for... Uh, for killing their next animated land. So let's play Champion. Draw two. Hostage Taker. Who boy. Hostage Taker is really good. Man, everything here is good. We want God Pharaoh's gift to just cast it. We're not there yet. Oh man. Um Okay. I think we dump gift and swamp. I think we're just gonna beat them with the with the toss taker or the chupacabra, honestly. Like if we keep gift, we have to also keep land. Um so, we'll just beat them with our cards. We can double block a land next turn. So we're not gonna punk we're not gonna poke Nissa yet. Like eventually they're gonna run out of lands, you know? This is so aggressive. Um, why are they so aggressive? I don't know if tossing Death Rite Shaman is correct. Oh wait, does I'm stupid. I'm being an idiot. This here, this here, this here. That leaves me no attackers for Nissa though. So I do need to actually like deal with this Nissa. Hmm. 
Yes, this ult at eight. So we do we do need to not let, let Nissa ultimate. That is definitely a, an important thing we need to be doing. Um, even just attacking Nissa for one with Death Ride Shaman is fine, honestly. All right, I think this is fine. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna hostage take her. Ooh. I want to Chupacabra whatever land they animate. Um, I guess stealing land or also allows us to Eternalized Champion faster, too. I want to take the Jade Light Ranger. I think it's actually just better. Go for the flawless victory here, folks. They have one card in hand, and it's Nissa who shakes the world, because they top top Nissa for some reason. This is fine. We could double block, but I think this is fine. They can also plus Nissa without animating the land. But oh, uh, don't don't have ballista. I'll make a wolf. Okay, man, they draw a lot of spells. All right, so untap, um, minister. We just chupacabra kill the forest, and then we need to hit the nissa. We can attack Nissa with Hoss Shaker and kill the wolf, kill the forest. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, this, is a, this is a wacky game. This is a really, really wacky game. Yes, yeah, so we're going to use Death Right to cast our champion of wits, but we've got to focus on Nissa first, though. They're going to let this through? Okay, uh, sure. Achipaka. I mean, that's gotta be game, right? Like, we have Champion Wits next turn, too. When you allow your opponent to play Ponza, basically. They're just so relentlessly aggressive. I love it. I love it. All right. Um, we are going to... I guess we're jumping with the, the Lanar Elf. And we'll gain two. No, Nissa can, can, Nissa can bust that target land. So, stay at four. Trade Choop for Forest. Still have a pretty good board here. Can't turn a lot as we draw land. Which we... <laughs> which we do, but... Um, 
Things get scary if they draw another land, I guess? Lo-fi! Seven month resale. Oh, oh, my friend. Man, Blue Mars sucks. That's a terrible one. Alright. Uh, I guess just say go. I don't think our attack is good here. We gotta stay alive, too. It's funny how they they have no lands. All right, so yeah, they didn't draw a land this turn, which is good. We need we did like not draw a land. Um. All right, here's the attack. I'm pretty sure we double again. I want to keep killing their stuff, realistically. Um. I guess like this is two turns away now. Hold on. This is two turns away. They've already plussed it. We make a 4-4, four, four, and we have multiple blockers and ways to kill things, hopefully. Yeah, we just block. It's like their last threatening creature for the most part. Yes, yeah, so we, we, this game is all about not letting them ult Nissa. Because they obviously have no lands in play. So if they get all their lands in play, that's not ideal. We build a gate to the afterlife? That sucks. Alright. Uh, gain life. Did it. That's game! Uh, we're gonna get back. I guess hostage taker. Sure, they're scooping. That was a game of magic we just played. Definitely a game. Of magic. We, we, we were gonna hostage taker and steal Lanor Elf, attack their Nissa. They have to block or it takes damage. Cast the the Lanor Elf and pretty insane shape. Oh boy. Whew. That was uh that was a game. That was a game of magic. Are they on Manila Stretch? Yeah, basically. Uh alright. So let's uh let's try that one again, I guess. Just gotta keep that Karn from ruining our day, you know? Just no Karns, please. No Karns. Thanks for following. If you haven't followed, hit that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Your Deck Live, a short play Your Deck Live on stream. This is Jubal's 58's Salt I Got Veros gift deck. A little, few little tweaks. Little tweaks. Okay. Um, pretty good hand. We've got Death Rite, Minister, Plague Crafter. A little awkward because we have the, uh, can't Death Rite and then use the mana for it, but we're going to keep this. And we'll get six, too. All right. Minister first. Then we Death Rite, Minister, Mill. And then we have the used up Minister to Sax Plague Crafter. So. Always got it. Always got it. Okay. Uh, so, Minister. Burning tree, burning tree, Nyctos, Nissa. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's draw Thoughtseize, please. Alright, this could get really, really ugly. I mean, 
They just have like nine mana on turn three. So they have a payoff. We're in big trouble. Why Minister over Death Rite? Because we can't put a land into play into the graveyard on turn two. So there's no reason to have Death Rite out. And I want to use it twice before I sack it to play Grafter. All right. Uh, here we are, I guess. Please don't do terrible things to me. If only our playcraft was a plague engineer, my favorite magic card. I don't want to look at this turn. Please don't do anything crazy. Well, they're not activating Nick. Up, oh, yeah, there they are. Oh. Math is hard. God damn it. Turn three Nissa on the play. So if we steal a forest, we can't cast it. Alright, if they attacked, I was snap triple blocking, so end step mill. Land creature creature. It's pretty good. Okay. I mean, we do have double hostage taker and play grafter, which is pretty good. Um, I mean, they have like infinite mana next turn with the, the Nissa. We can't really stop that. Um, Is Hostage taking takering forest crazy? It's just like a chupacabra on the forest, basically. Taking like anything else doesn't even feel good. You know? So we take a, a lantern off, we can't cast it anyway. Take emissary, it's like doesn't even do anything. Really? Taking their lands certainly worked last game, so... Alright, I guess we'll do it. It's funny, I, I like, wish these were Chupacabras right now, not Hostage Takers. You know, Takers like often better. Taking the forest doesn't deny more mana than the 2-2. Two -two. It's the same thing. It's two mana or two mana. But... I guess we, like, can just cast the Burning Tree next turn. Nissa can untap Nykthos. That's true. That's true. That's true. Maybe it's Burning Tree. I'm sorry. Let's cast it next turn. So next turn we can cast it for free, basically, and then cast another hostage shaker, and then our board's like pretty good. It does feel like when we don't find a gate, we're not using our graveyard enough, even though we have always self mill effects. I don't know what else we could play. Oh god. They have a lot. They have like a ballista me here. We're just kind of probably gonna. They have, a, if they have any payoff here. If they have any payoff here. The hand was literally just perfect. So it's sort of like, God damn it! Just the stone cold nuts in the play. Oh. Now if I had taken a land. 
I'd be happy to block Toss Shaker by not taking a land. We really screwed ourselves, I think. Because now I can't block with it. Oh, that was stupid, I think. What are we going to do? You know, like... Now they can get, like, Ballista or something and just, like, play it for a million. That's so sick. What a sick hand. Just, like, the perfect... Just the perfects in the play here. I think it's Sky Sovereign. Yeah, we're just dead. Pretty frustrating. Yeah, I we we just suck. I should have taken the stupid land. I'm just an idiot. Um, I just screwed up. So if I take the land. We get to block there. We gotta take a bunch of damage. Yeah, it was just it was just really it was very short sighted. I mean, I, just didn't, I didn't think about it next turn. Yeah, like, now we just can't beat the... I mean, we could, like, take the Sky Sovereign with the Hostage Taker, but we just died everything in their hand. Yeah, we just lose. All right. Yeah, I mean, um, we take Forest there. We probably still lose, honestly, because I, I don't know if we can beat their board. They don't get to attack for as much, but... Um, they like get the Forest back, too, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. I mean, I think basically every deck in the format loses to his hand if you don't have a Thoughtseize or some interaction. So, unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate. But, seems like a kind of poopy matchup because they, Karn seems really good against us. But, what are you going to do? If we were even on the play that game, I think we were fine. But, turn 3 Nissa on the play into turn 4 Karn is pretty silly. That's okay. Right, Zibby? That's why we have Zibby, our emotional support hamster, for times like this. Zibby, provide emotional support. You're fired. Stupid. All right. Uh, so on the draw, you keep this one. This is nice. Not sold at Emery, but Hollow Fountain Shock Go. Okay. Oh, my Triton's cool. We just filled our curve. This is a opt or a spectral sailor? A spectral sailor. Okay. All the really proactive decks, you know. Uh, this might be a bad matchup too, honestly. Just like Bant Spirits, just like super interactive. Yeah. All right. Meyer Triton, not very good here. Not very good here. Seder Wayfinder over Meyer Triton. I suppose making land drops is better than an irrelevant 2 1, so sure, I guess. Alright, bin three creatures, cool. Draw it on tap land, cool, I guess. Mausoleum Wanderer. No instant sorceries here, my friend. We got Playcrafter, though. Alright, this is, like, okay. We just, like, trade uh, Playcrafter for one of their flyers and just kind of poke in, I guess. Set up Hostage Taker for the, the Phantom, which is pretty good, too. Big die roll game. I feel like if we are on the play, this game would have been in much, much better shape. Um... Okay. Jeez. Take it easy. Yeah. 
It's like we're allergic to the afterlife. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's gonna matter this game, honestly. They have all spells in hand, too. They draw a line of, Quell of Queller, also. Lord. Lordy, Lord. Alright, well, we're dead. Um, what's that? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're just dead. I mean, kind of lame, but what are you going to do? Just trip one drop, double Lord, all evasion on the play. Which can't really do a ton about that, unfortunately. Um, all right, let's sideward. And Ballista wouldn't do anything here either. Like, I don't think Ballista's very good at all. Just a very clunky card. Uh, definitely not sold him as Emery. It sucks as, like, Meyer Triton's supposed to be our speed bump card. But obviously, if all the creatures are flying, it can't be that. You know, if they have to take take time off to kill Meyer Triton or to attack into it, that's great for us. But when they're all flyers, this doesn't matter, obviously. So, um, we're going to bring in... Cause they can have, like, they can have, like, rest in peace and stuff, too. This is pretty gross. Let's cut Emery. Cuts to DC. Uh, Freebooter at least blocks stuff. Maybe shave, like, two Meyer Tritons. We're certainly light on things to do in this matchup. Um, I don't think I want to bring in the Rex Ages. They don't usually have that many rest in peace. You should have a gift too, actually. I mean, Thief sort of blocks stuff. Like, maybe we just like want to be a Thief deck on the play and then see how they sideboard and go from there. I could buy that too, I guess. We just cut all the Tritons then. Right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, all right, I'll show this. Bone Picker, that's the four mana 3-2 flyer. Yeah, that card's not very good. It costs one, sure, but it costs four most of the time. That's totally unacceptable. Huh. Vector, 18 month resubs. That's baby number two. We're popping out kids. Vector, appreciate that. Thanks so much. Long time subscribing. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so it's an okay hand. Push is pretty big game, so. No uh, fodder for Playcrafter, but that doesn't really matter that much, I think. We have a Steve Sanity too, so. I like these thieves. Don't like drawing lands, but sure. That's so mean. What a mean card to play. Remorseful cleric. I mean, that means I hope I don't have rest in peace, honestly. All right. Oh, I put the wrong land. No. Ugh. All right. Oops. Oopsie. Looks so similar, you know? If I just say go here, it's really awkward. Saves that spell color. Yes, it's so awkward. Uh... I mean, we... <sighs> Pretty sure we just say go. What? Oh, they have nibble gas, whatever? No. Like, if I cast a spell and they quell her, it's still awful for us. We think they have quell her. 
They just tap two? That's really weird. All right, whatever. Have company too. They just got everything. That was actually really good. All right, bombs away, I guess. So no queller, please. And then we stack the playcrafter. Get to push something. Damn it. All right. I mean, I guess go. I don't know if bringing a Thief of was correct. Just seems really awful against most of their stuff. All right, whatever. You win. All right. Not a very fun match. They're not a very fun match. Um, opponents are really out for us today. Really, really out for us. They just don't like us very much. You know? Don't in many ways turn our own fatal push either. It's kind of lame. All right. Swamp pasta shaker, yeah. That was rough. That was rough. Um, we got to tighten up here. We gotta tighten up. Deck feels sweet, but answering graveyard hate is definitely a concern. Um, and a lot of our matches so far have just felt kind of tough. Like, either in the cards they're playing or just how good their draws have been. Deothar, nine month resub. Sub baby, please. Name our child, Deothar. Name our child. Brutal stuff over here. Brutal stuff. What if we, Coco? I mean, our cards aren't that good. Our child's name is Umberto? Sure. Umberto. Umberto it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Hope, hope they're blind creatures. This is going to be our blue light control match for sure. God, are you kidding me? We also seem to not draw uh, gates very often, which is not cool. Um, might need more work in, like, finding gates. Uh, I'm not sure how we do that, though. Like, how do we find the gate faster? All right. Oh, that's, 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 that's bad, too. Just spirits again. Tilt. Tilt, tilt, tilt. All right. Let's get this ball rolling, I guess. The old Meyer T. Trophy Mage. It's just like kind of slow and clunky. Meyer Triton. Right. Twenty life points. Say up. What the hell's going on? Go. I'm hitting buttons. Let's go. Yeah, Emery just sucks uh, with that artifacts. Just costs too much mana. Yo, rattle chains. All right.
Poor Meyer Triton, you know? Meyer Triton just wants to block. Meyer Triton has a job to do, and it wants to do it really bad, and it just can't do it. Just can't do it. Um, Alright. I mean, we're just jamming Playcraft after we attack, so... I mean, the good news is that we have Chupacabra, so if they don't have another Spell Queller, which I'm sure they do, but if they don't, we get to Chups this Queller and then play Crafter and then kill their whole board, so. All right, so no Lord. Definitely a company, though. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, all right, so... It's probably going to be, can they hit a Queller off a company again? And if they can, we're probably dead. And if they can't, sweet. Um, I think we're not going to attack. Actually, I guess we are. Alright, don't hit another Spell Queller. Run Puff, new sub. What's your name? Where you're from? Welcome, my friend. Hype train level two. Uh, going, uh, going, doing stuff. Linus from Stockholm, Sweden. How's it going, my friend? Thanks, sub. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. All right. That wasn't very fun. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they're just going to spell well every, like, every spell we cast, we're just going to lose, I guess. Um, we, uh, we had the old Chupski. You know, if they didn't have a second spell caller, we were good. But, all right. Let's uh, try again, I guess. No, we don't. We don't need any boomers. Um, Angel invention is good with with uh, with God Pharaoh's gifts, but that was back in standard where like just hard casting Angel invention was fine. Also, uh, getting back Chupacabra, Playcrafter is all plenty good enough. There's no reason to play any big uncastable card in your deck. All right, uh, so I would say we should not bring in the um, the Thief of Sanities again. Bring push freebooter, shave some tritons, I guess. I don't know. Do you want thief? It does block stuff at least. You know, like Meyer Triton doesn't do anything. Um, I cut like the Emery and like the CDC because they both just kind of suck. I guess. Do you want Thoughtseize? I don't think so. Like maybe we do. Um, like it doesn't feel great, but I guess maybe it just opens the game up a little bit in the early game. Maybe we do want thought seize. It's too late now. Here's submitted, but um, yeah, maybe we do want thought seize. It feels bad, obviously, because like we're just taking extra damage against their like linear creature deck. But maybe we just needed to push through. Uh, oh, that didn't submit yet. Magic on leg so bad. I just never have any idea what's going on. Uh, <laughs> we did it! We drew game to the afterlife! We did it! <sighs> Alright, sounds good. I mean, Crawl Harpooner would be insane. Uh, that'd be a really good one. You know, if you would... I don't know how popular Spirits is as far as like actually wanting Crawl Harpooner in your deck, but that would be a really, really good one. Uh, 
Clearly, we should have played it in this league. All right, so we get supplier and minister. Wanderer, sure. <gasps> we drew a gate to the afterlife? Impossible. Why you gotta be like that, opponent? Why you gotta be like that? We all know you're not blocking. Why you gotta be like that? Super Marth, Super Marth 64. I like that name. Marth, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. Thanks so much. All right. Um, well, you can resolve gate here. Play crafting is pretty appealing. Alright, we're gonna resolve the gate. Should we attack first? Guess having a sacking supplier with gate already out is pretty good. They're gonna rattle chains here probably, so we're just gonna be walking headlong into spell queller again, but yeah, this is a thought season, but this would be much better. That's just bad sideboarding on my part. Yeah, if this is thought season, we get a thought season and then, and then play play crafter and beat their spell queller. Yeah, that's just terrible sideboarding by me, for sure. It's definitely counterintuitive. To, oh, wait. They've got no white. You love to see it. You love to see it. Sure. Uh, it could flash in a blocker. I think it's fine. We the loot also. So we're also gonna show them the Eva and then board it out, which feels good too, I guess. So all right, let's go. Let's go. Our gate should definitely be on next turn. Sack this. They sack something. Triggers. Supplier. Creatures. Another rattle chains. Sure. Supplier. Mills uh, some more creatures. Loot with this. Damn. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. That's six. And then we're going to shock and do it again. Okay. There's Hostager. Perfect. I think we're online, folks. Goliath online. I mean, they have like Brazen Borrower or something. I'm going to get really mad, but. What else, geez? Hostage taker. Give me that. I can cast it whenever I want, right? It's got flash. Sweet. That's gotta be game. That's gotta be game. We did it, folks. They didn't draw white. You can't spell queller us if you don't got a white mana. The never ending chain of spell quellers. The buck stops here. The line must be drawn here. No further. I'm talking of Crawl Harpooner. 
According to Goldfish, Bant Spears is the third most popular deck at 8% at of the metagame. It's only 8%, though. It's like a, it's a tiny percentage. You could play 10 matches and not play against it once, you know? And Harpooner is literally only good against them, so... Uh, Alright, so let's board properly this time. Let's cut the uh, the Thieves. Actually, the draw. And bring in these Thought Seizes. And... Let's try and push stuff through here. If we can push through a Queller, I think we're fine, you know? Black Devotion style God Pharaoh's gift deck. There probably just aren't enough good cards, honestly. Like, what self mill cards are you playing? How are you finding your gates? You know, why play one color? You can play two or three. Like Merchant's okay, but if you already have God, if you already have God Pharaoh gift in play, it's like ninety percent of the way there. You know. Okay. Uh, this hand is painful, but fine. We're gonna keep. No, they can call her CDC. It's it's plus four mana. All right, they were gonna thought these, and this also plays around rest in peace. So just hit it. Their hand is pretty good. Uh, two two drops, two three drops, spell queller. However, we got the old Chupski. You can just queller. Should have, like, Wayfinder into Champion into Chupacabra. We're certainly taking some, taking some lumps here, but... I think just Queller. Alright. That's not bad. Uh... I was going to consider playing off curve to not shock these lands into play, but. Another shock land. It's not ideal, but. There are two creatures in the graveyard. And they're not playing the Supreme Phantom. They're trying to say they drew the Druid of the Queller. You. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Get out of here. So many shock lands. I mean, we're going to play Gate because we want them to quell it if they have one. I guess they have Deputy. But I could just... Hmm. Now we're going to champion, actually. We're going to champion, actually. I don't want a Deputy to hit the Gate. Loot, loot. Um, I want the fifth land. We've got only two creatures in the bin so far. I would say the minister is too slow. I actively want this to die, so... weird. Like, if you don't have Queller, though, you probably want the extra point of damage on your turn, but sure. Alright, they have three cards in hand. Uh, Minister is much better than, than, than Secret Keeper. God, it's taking so much damage. <sighs> His minister mills six cards. You can block with it and it dies. Um, it goes to the graveyard. It's a one, two. Currently have Three creatures in the graveyard. I think it's just Supplier Shaman. Tap land. Glen 
Let's see if Cyphoner is interesting. They could be a sideboard plan. That require playing Hub though too. Hub's kind of awkward. All right, we've been two creatures. That's pretty cool. What's up, Corky? How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Alright, I mean, they didn't flash anything in, which is definitely good for us. So, let's see. The issue is, obviously, if you go for Gate to the Afterlife, they get to deputy it. Um, I guess we get to untap a Chupacabra and just do it again, though. We get the Hostage Taker at Rattle Chains, also. We're just going for it. If they have Spellcaller, they have Spellcaller, whatever. What are we going to do? Like... Alright, I mean, they just... If they drew the card we thought to, what are we supposed to do? You know, we just can't, literally can't beat an infinite supply of spell colors. So, pretty frustrating matches so far. Not gonna lie, pretty frustrating matches so far. Um, we obviously thought to see a spell color and uh, played our game around them not having it, and they just had it. So, uh, if they didn't have it, we get to pop gate, hostage taker, steel rattle chains. Uh, they get to untap and deputy my my thing. That chupacabra to get it back, but what are you gonna do? So. Tough matches so far. Tough matches so far. Um, feels like the deck is fine. I think the Emery and the Sadisi probably suck. Um, probably want a fourth death right shaman. I wish there was some other interactive thing we could play on like turn two. Um, it sucks. It's like we just played against the same deck twice, and the deck seems to line up pretty well against us. So I feel like we could. We haven't learned as much as we would like to have learned, but the idea of playing four Aether Hub and then sideboarding four Glensleaf Siphoner is also reasonable. Maybe a main deck though, honestly. It's just like an okay card. Uh, but that could be a cool sideboard juke plan. I think that definitely having some sort of sideboard package to bring in is nice against uh, against Graveyard Hate. Hmm. Mystical Disputes? Could play Mystical Dispute. It's a thing. Um, it could be a thing. It's just hard because, like, if we're going to try and have some sort of, like, non-graveyard plan on our sideboard, it takes up a lot of space. It's hard to have a lot of real sideboard cards. Like, our booters and our thieves take up a lot of spots. Um, for such a synergy laden deck it's definitely difficult hmm not sure not sure Spellcore does get around Cavern of Souls yes Let's try again. Come on. We, we deserve better than this, I think. Uh, yeah. Sounds great. So let's shock in and play Minister. Just got to find ourselves a little uh, gate to the afterlife. Branch Walker. I don't think so. Like... None of those cards are particularly good on rate, you know? Spire Bluff Canal, thank god. Alright, um... 
That's nice. We can Minister Supplier again. There's Meyer Triton. Play supplier. Play minister. Corky says, off the topic of magic, I'm a, I'm a music teacher. All my lessons are online now. Researching HD webcams, wondering what I'm using. I use the uh, Logitech on uh, 920p it is the like standard like industry standard for streamers it's fine it's not amazing it's obviously you can see it right now here it is uh it's fine i would like a better one but there's like no real middle ground between that and, like a thousand dollar dslr camera so it has audio the audio is not great on it i wouldn't use it all right so we hit to hit two creatures play uh minister so yeah Ship the old turn scheme. Yeah, it's a good one. Any of a Logitech, like, mid-level ones are all fine. Planning? Sure. My, my mic sucks, don't buy it. They hit double Arclight Phoenix? It is just not our day in this league. I'm sorry, Jubals. It's just not our day. They're just... Our opponents are just, just doing us... Just doing us dirty. Alright, uh, untap. Draw. We did it! Complain, you shall receive. Um, get him next turn. Don't abrade me. I swear to God, if you abrade me, we're going to have a problem. So yeah, Playcrafter, Playcrafter, Meyer Triton, Supplier, Wayfinder. Okay. Thing in the ice. I mean, that card is good against us if we just have this Playcrafter in our graveyard, so it's cool. Champion of Wits. Play Crafter again. Sure. Untap. Draw. Sadisi Brood Tyrant. Cute, but we're definitely going to Play Crafter. Um, yeah, I couldn't see not Play Crafter in here, so we'll just pop the gate. And we're gonna stack supplier. And I'm pretty sure we're stacking too, so. Seems unlikely they can cast three spells next turn, but. Stack this, mill three. Uh, attack for the old six ball. What's up, Bad Moon? Bad Moon says, hey, I like your stream. Thanks. I'll play my first Pioneer FNM this Friday. Where in the world are you playing FNM? I thought everyone was closed. Planning on playing Gideon 3 plus Nissa token deck. Have I tried that type of deck? Uh, not really. Um, I do, I do a deck tax for $10. So if you would like to a deck deck, that'd be $10. Uh, Alright, planning. Lightning Axe, sure. So I imagine they're getting Phoenixes back here, but I think it's probably fine for us. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good draw, honestly. If this is their turn four, and they've already cast Cruise and got two Phoenixes back, it's a high-quality draw. Luckily, our draw is better. So, yay for us. But, all right, let's get back Champion Wits and see what we draw, and then play some spells also, so... We're going to Meyer Triton to gain some life. Not going to play Crafter. It seems pointless. So. Champion of Wits. Draw four, discard two. Okay. Uh, Death Rock Shaman's kind of tight. So let's discard, like, land Champion of Wits, I guess. And then play... Moves with X. Nah, no point suppliering first. We already have good cards in our graveyard. We know what we want. Now I have mana to cast Deathrite Shaman too, so... 
Also, they can 12 me next turn, which should be pretty tough. We're uh, in pretty good shape. Gain some life. Gain some life. Planning again. I gotta stretch. Oh, here we go. We're standing up. We're stretching. They're playing, planning. They're carefully deciding their plans. Oh. Man, I gotta like leave the house or something. It looks, looks sunny out. Maybe me and John play catch later. Oh. They put a land, a land in the graveyard. And they, uh, they just brazen borrower my. No, they cast Venture Deeper and they mill the brazen borrower as well as two. Is it charms? Borrowers are kind of a blowout, but they're dead anyway. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Lightning Axe something, sure. Another Phoenix, sure. Ain't they just dead? They're just dead on board. What are they doing? I guess they're one short of dead. Okay. Take some damage. Um, gate to the afterlife number two. I mean, that probably kills them, right? We just get two play crafters and kill them. They can block one. Yeah, they're just dead. All right. Exile a land. Man, pretty good hands on both sides here. And we just get back play crafter, play crafter. Play crafter is a nice one. Four, four, one, one. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, Death Red has been very, very good. I agree. Tax step. So they're playing Borrower, Ox, Merfolk, Secret Keeper. That's a lot of creatures in their deck. They have Ox, Borrower, Thing in the Ice, Arc Light, Secret Keeper, and I guess like the Borrower and Secret Keeper are kind of spells, but... Alright, that was sweet. That was a good hand. That was a good hand. Um, we're going to bring in, I guess, just Ashiok. Uh, don't think you want Push. I guess Booter's also okay. It's got Sadisi and Emery, because they're like bad cards. Um, I think Chupacabra's like not awesome here. Best version, Demir or Inverter? I have no idea. I don't even think I've, I've actually played the deck before. So, um, let me shave a Chupacabra here. I think that Hostage Taker is probably better. If they have their own graveyard hate, things are going to get pretty ugly, but... We don't really have a good answer to uh, to Ashiok because you can't like Reclamation Sage it. And once they play it, they just do it, you know. So that's not ideal. I think I broke. I missed you. Nine month resub. Name our sub baby, please. Okay. I mean, hand's good. It's a lot of enablers, you know. Look at this mana base. Drawing fast lands is great. All right, we mill freebooter and playcrafter. 
Turn two thing in the ice. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, where are those play crafters at, you know? Okay. Uh, no land. Not ideal. But our graveyard's full now, so... There's some other graveyard payoff we can play, but like... Like, I guess Euro would be okay. We definitely never want to cast it, but... I would like something to do out of the graveyard because we don't we don't have gate. We kind of just like fill our graveyard, just stare at it. But we can't tax the graveyard, so Chris, of course you can. What is this? All right, not Ashiok. Whew, not Ashiok. Thankfully. Wow. Uh, okay, that's cool. It's a good thing we uh, drew this now and not a turn later when they had tokens in play. What are you going to sacrifice, my friend? Damn. Are you going for it? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Building a pioneer deck that curves to 5. You should play 24. It totally depends on your deck. Oh, it's a Jun deck. I mean, how important is it that you make your first five land drops? Can you afford to miss land drops? What that? What kind of things do you have that make your that help you find land drops? Like Mausoleum Secrets. What does that card do? It's like demonic tutor for black creatures in your graveyard. It's kind of a cool one, honestly. All right. I mean, they got some servos. Cool, Chris. Sounds good. Alright, I mean... It does feel like that that's a problem we're having, is finding things to do when we don't draw uh, the card. What's it called? Gate of the Afterlife. Champion of Wits. Lutskis. Discard land champion. Sure. I should pitch the minister, actually. I guess, like, minister's attacks. Which we're looking to beat the Sahili, so. Play Karn to find gates. I mean, Karn does not fit in this deck at all. Main phase quicken. Like a jiffy. Fave wishes just too expensive, you know. All right. Um, pretty sure we're just looting again. Sure. Like, there's not much point to milling ourselves because we just have a full. Well, we need six cards in the graveyard. We've already done that. Molder Hulk? Molder Hulk is tight. I like that card a lot. All right. Just tax the Healy and just play Wayfinder, I guess. It's funny because, like, Thing in the Ice is only, like, medium against us. Like, we just bounce all our stuff and cast it again. You know? Like, whatever. Molder Hulk is pretty cool. Drifter? What's Drifter? The deck needs Hogak. Where are my Gaks at? The deck needs Hogak for sure. And Hogak could probably be like only medium broken in Pioneer, you know? Blue Marsh Breeding Pool first. Alright. I mean, we want the land. We're at the point where now we're going to be like just flashing back Champion Woods, so. Oh, Muldrifter? Um, that card would be medium in this deck, I think. Three mana's a lot, you know? That's why Emery wasn't good. It's just, just cost three mana doesn't do anything, you know? Alright, discarding Arclight Steam Vents. Play an Opt. 
Alright. Yeah, I mean, Trophy Mage is like... It's okay. It's kind of slow and crappy. Maybe the deck wants one, but... It certainly seems better than Emery does. So, Emery and, and Sidisi both seem bad. It's true. We haven't built a gate. We are 30 cards deep and haven't seen a gate yet, so... Alright. I mean... We're, like, almost dead now. But... So we're not going to Saxahelia and make a, another Arclight? Sure. Draw step. Deathrite Shaman. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I mean, they're going to flip Thing in the Ice next turn. I guess there's no point in even attacking. Because they just block with everything and then flip it regardless. Hmm. Alright. I guess go. To the library. Tamiyo is far too expensive for this deck. Champion costs 7 to a to flashback. I should have attacked. Now they can, like, make a servo into an Arclight Phoenix for a little extra extra oomph, maybe, if they want to. Oh, it's minus two, not minus one. Oopsie. I should have forced the issue. Now we just like do it on our turn. Maybe I don't know. Blood for bones. I mean, what are we getting back? You know, like we milled gifts, land freebooter, tombbound lich is a card. That card has as lifelink. It's definitely a possible card you can play, but I mean, I don't want to shock here. Realistically. Alright, I'm going to attack Saheeli and try and make him flip thing in the ice. I think we're in kind of big doo-doo here, but... This is trying to get him to flip it. They should probably, they should just wait, untap, flip it, recast Arclight and kill us. Yeah, they're smart. Alright, we're just dead. I guess they could, they, they could like not have a spell, I guess, but that seems highly unlikely. Uh, sure. Do you actually not have a spell? That would be insane. Deck tech. Okay. Alright, I mean... Maybe we screwed that game up, I don't know. It was just another game where we just didn't drug you to the afterlife, unfortunately. We definitely, like, just don't want to cast Euro, but maybe just having it in the deck is, is fine. Um, because we just want things to do for self-mill. 
There's no, like, escape cards, right? Yeah, like, you just put, like, two Euro in your deck. I don't know if we actually need two copies of God Pharaoh's Gift. Like, what effects in the format actually exile it? Because, obviously, if it, if it gets destroyed or bounced, you can just put it back in off another gate. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, who's playing D-Spark, you know? I mean, Deathmatch Shaman's really good against them, but this hand's pretty terrible. Yeah, we're gonna mulligan. Oh, look. Just a much, much better hand. Let's keep this. Um, let's ship probably a Plague Crafter. Let her rip here. Want to buy Bloodgast, yeah. Well, the, the Euro wouldn't really be a backup plan. It's more of like a main deck plan, honestly. I need to find some other backup plan for the sideboard. I don't know if Explore Gritches are fast enough for, for Pioneer Minister. Alright, well... The good news is they also put lands in their graveyard, so Shaman can work both ways, which is nice. Their hand is pretty silly. Double Arclight Phoenix. Opt Lava Coil. Is it Charm? So we're gonna take the take the Is it Charm here. If I coil my Freebooter, it's fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, getting in for one. The old Death Ride Shaman. I got Azure Morse is fine. You know. All right, so they play. So they draw a thing in the ice, which is good if we draw land. Oh man. Alright, there's your opt. Opt goes top. That's not good. So her hand is Arclight, Arclight, Coil, Card, Card. And they're saying go. Glint Nest Crane? There's only six artifacts in my entire deck. Odds of hitting are pretty bad. Man. Alright, I mean, this sand is unfortunate. Uh, no blue mana, obviously. Just give me careful study, you know? Just careful study. It's fine. Not a big deal. Just a little careful study action. I'd even splash red for looting, you know? Alright. Opt again. This opt is going to go to the top again. I mean, Caraval said it would be very, very good in modern. Tapping two. Lava Coil targeting the boot. All right. The boot is gone. Oh my god, they have another spell too. Venture deeper. All right, well, we're pretty dead here. Um, you know, there's the whole uh, issue of, you know, not being able to cast any of our spells kind of a thing. So flip that. Deeper misses a 
thingy, which is good, but land for Playcrafter? All right. So you're telling me there's a chance. Of course, the problem is they have Arclight Phoenix and uh, Is a Charm in their hand, but we are playing Magic once again, so that's good. Yes, I think that Careful Study would definitely reinvigorate Arc Life Phoenix decks, for sure. Alright, so they all need is one one mana spell, and they have to play two Phoenixes and kill us here, so. Because we already know they have Is It Charm in their hand, so. Charter Course discards a land. Wow! The big bricks? The big bricks, that's unbelievable. Alright. Uh, that's great. I don't know how many how many turns they're gonna brick. Seems fairly unlikely to brick again. Oh god. Chota Coors. Discarding one Arc Light Phoenix. Uh yeah, we're dead now. Oh god. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh wait, no, they bricked again? This is unbelievable. How could they brick so hard? Wow. We are so lucky, and they are so unlucky. Okay. Um, I mean, we get to exile the Phoenix now, which is great. Gain some life. Great. Uh, I guess we're going to champion? Lutskis. I guess the Minister's a little slow. We're going to mill a bunch of cards anyway. And I want to have Chupacabra or the ability to activate the gate next turn. I agree, Brazen... I think Brazen Barley would, would just cast it. That's, that's a third spell, so it doesn't make sense. Um, I want to keep the Chups, though. Alright, sweet. So here must be like Arc Light and like a bunch of lands. Or some other creature. Uh oh. Here we go. That's that's one way to do it. Okay. Well, this feels awesome. So, mill, and then we have five creatures in the graveyard. They have, like, a negate or something, I think. That's my that's my tingle. I've got negate tingle. Um, we're just going to choop this, uh, this arc light and then eat it. A chupacab. Blue, blue. Colorless. This could be a Sahili. Yeah. Alright. There's naked Sahili? Man, they have drawn so badly this game. I almost feel bad for them. Alright. We're going to walk into whatever negate they have. I'm, I'm feeling some sort of negate or something here, but... Oh, I should have attacked first. Or not. What are they doing over there? Uh, must have, like, literally nothing. Oh, my God. We bricked. We needed a creature. That's so sick. All right. Now we get a creature. We're both building a house here.
Oh, duh. You're, you're totally right. I just forgot. I just forgot that shot, that the shot mids mana. Just totally forgot. I'm an idiot. All right. Obviously, I should have, I should have activated the gate. I just I just saw the the, the sanctum in our hand and just totally forgot. Oops. Oopsie. You can do whatever you want, but all right. So whatever. We'll just we'll just shaman them and then do it next turn. Yeah, I just totally forgot. That's okay. Maybe they have a braid. We're actually really smart by playing around it. Yeah, like leaving Shaman up. We're like pretty far ahead in the board right now, so. Well, if we have mana up, we can we can pop the gate response to a braid. So, it's gonna be hilarious when they have a braid, and we we're just like playing around it because we're an idiot. We're just like stupidly playing around it, like <laughs> put the wrong button. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, about like perfectly playing around it. It's hilarious. All right, uh, blue red strategic planning. Make a token. Sure. Idiot. Milling opt and planning. Well, those cards are pretty good, so they probably took a good one here. That's maybe the card they had in their hand the whole time. Because it's a spell that doesn't trigger Arclight Phoenix. Alright. Uh, it's kind of lame, but sure. Okay. I guess we just pop the gate and make them crypt us. Because, like, then we get into combat and things die. It's better for us. So, I'm pretty sure we just do it. Oh, wait, they can. No, they, they never mind. It's, the claws on six is only on the activation. So, yeah, zero mind artifacts are a spell. So, move to combat. It sucks we have no energy. So we could, we could have, like, in response to this, uh... So they crypt us, which is fine. And then, like, we just attack. Sahili. Uh, Sahili. Sahili. We just want things to die, so... Alright, so they're blocking in a manner where none of our stuff dies. That's fine, because Sahili just goes to one and whatever. Or not. Nah. Or to give it up. One either. I don't know. I suppose that block makes more sense. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we just play this. All right, you're up. End step. Red, blue in the pool. Red, blue, blue. Hard cast brazen bar. Interesting. I guess like they're almost out of creatures, so 
Shaman's not getting life much longer, but... Alright, big draw step here. Uh, Alright, uh, I cast this. Now if things die, we get to loot. Even if we wanted things to die anyway. Let's kill Sahili. Block here, have a kill spell, make another blocker. What we'll is guarantee it dies, I guess? Yeah, let's we'll just make sure it dies. Like, we can't leave the alien play. It's just, they chain to get like, like, four, like four spells or whatever, make four tokens or huge trouble, so. Let's play around one, one removal spell and one token blocking. Playcrafter would be really, really good. <laughs> would love a Playcrafter here. It's a strange block, but sure. All right, draw step for the turn. Arclight Phoenix Hardcast. Okay, that's a that's a clock, and there are currently no creatures. And it's actually just dead in two turns here. This is sick. You got a nine. We do not have lethal. All right. Big draw here. Anything that puts a card in the graveyard. Or hostage taker. Uh... We can cast Venture Deeper, right? If we take the Secret Keeper. That's pretty tight. Get to mill four cards. If we brick, we die though. We could just uh, could just take like the phoenix and cast it, or take the the brazen borrower and cast it. Taking brazen borrower and casting is pretty good uh, because we we then have a blocker for arc light and a creature we want to die. I think that's probably safer. Um, although, we could just kill them. We're going to mill four cards. We hit any creature, we kill them. Man. Tough choice here. Um... No, you can definitely cast the adventure for sure. It just, it just says cast the card. It doesn't say cast the creature. Uh, this is a really, really interesting spot. If they have a removal spell... Um, this doesn't matter. It was the the hostage will just die. We'll never use it anyway. But if, we take, if we just take Brazen Borrower, they get a draw step. I guess they could draw another Phoenix and kill us too. They only have one left. Venture Deeper is way cooler. All right, sure. You convince me.
Now they can cast the circuit, the secret keeper. It's, it's going to go into their exile zone, but I don't really care about that. So. Oh, look who's awake. Good morning, Zibby. We hit Playcrafter. Oh, God, we're doing it. And Minister of Inquiries. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, no, this is in their adventure zone. We cannot cast this. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Only have two, two creatures in the graveyard. Can't get God for his gifts. What's up, bud? I just heard that someone was awake. He, uh, he is awake. Hi. We're tapping Lance. Oh yes. my god, they have petty theft. So it didn't matter what we did. We were just dead. Um. Dun dun dun. Yeah, it just didn't. Not actually. No, I I can gain life still. <laughs> okay, All right, that's good. So. Oh, I, you're right. I can't cast this. Okay, so we attack for six and then gain two life and then try and kill him next turn. I guess. Yeah, we don't, we don't have six creatures in our graveyard, folks. Only got two. Alright, I guess we cast Secret Keeper. So we play craft or whatever, it's still good, so... Alright, I mean, they're at three and dead on board, and... We are... Not dead on board. So... Yeah. Oh. Oh no, Zippy's going back in his spot. Zippy's going back to bed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... Exile our own creature. And hope we don't die to a shock or something. Okay. Three to one. Are you going to be Peanut? Yeah. He's uh, licking himself. I think I need... Did you give it to him? No, I can't. I, I think I need a chair. I need a chair? We won! We did it! I found. Yes, and the game glitched. Yeah, it does, it does do that a lot. All right, tight tight match there, tight match. Uh, Well, don't step on my, uh, my food there. Give me that. Give Zibi a, a, give Zibi a peanut. Give Zibi a peanut. Give Zibi a peanut. Give all right, um, that was a wild match, honestly. He was getting a peanut. Oh, we can't see his peanut. And sun is right in his eyes too. Yeah. Also, the only thing you can actually see was is his butt. <laughs> yes. Zibi does like showing his butt to everyone. Well, yeah, he won. Yes, we are one and three. Get the blood triant, dude. I want you to get him. Well, we're trying. And then the, your your opponents just scoop and they're basically dead. Keep mulligan. It's all up to the chat. Mulligan. Nothing's ever up to chat. We don't trust them. Don't trust them at all. All right, sand's fine. We can keep this. Uh, so keep ship. Uh, we're on the draw. I think that chupacabra is safer on the draw. So. Look. Should have Wayfinder to play Crafter is pretty good. Someone's like, come on, John. <laughs> Never trust. <laughs> Never trust chat. I was going to be about Mono Green deck again. 
Someone just said mole. Mole again. I mean, the model redux is really bad for us because we, uh, we, uh, they just have Karn, which turns off our card. What's up, Goomba? Good games, my friend. Crazy game. You bricked so hard in that game. You got so unlucky, it was unreal. So, oh, no, Steel Leaf Champion. Okay. Uh, sure. I do wish you won the die roll, not gonna lie. Uh, Let's hope you get that mythic. Yeah, that card's not even that good. Cookies? Mommy's saying big, big cookies, go help. Okay. Well... Uh -huh. Okay. He's... Okay. All right, sweet. Well, I'm gonna help mommy bake some cookies. Sounds good. All right, so unfortunately, Meyer Triton can't block Steel Leaf Champion, but we have a Chupacabra, so we get to Plague Crafter into Chupacabra. It's gonna cost some life, though. Definitely a die roll game. Wish you were in the die roll of this game for sure. I don't don't like Sirach me or something. Oh whoa, Elvish Clan Caller. Whoa. Hello. What is going on? This is their turn three on the play. They have seven, eight, they have fourteen power in play. Oh boy. Um. Pretty sure we're dead. Our bonds have styled on us pretty hard this league. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we have played against some pretty, pretty top tier draws. Like you can chupacabra or the steel leaf next turn, but I don't still think it matters. So, like, the Mystic dies. They still have a 7-6. Um, I guess Playcrafter can stop these. We're, we're just dead, though. We, we just have to shock for Chupacabra. They just killed us on turn four. They killed us on turn four through a... Wait, what? We're just dead on board. All right. They're not killing us. They just died with everything. We're dead. Okay. They should have killed us on turn four through a play crafter and a block. I'm sorry. Never mind. We, 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 we could block this. We weren't dead. They, they, they could have... Uh, they could attack with the Lords also, but if they attack with everything, I have to block this Steel Leaf Champion, and we still lose, so. But yeah, we're just dead anyway. Alright, uh, yeah, fun game. Fun game. Alright, um, yeah, we'll bring in some removal spells, I guess. I mean, like, it sucks because Meyer Triton can't stop. It sucks because Meyer Triton's just been like, all of our opponent's creatures are flying or Steel Leaf Champions. So it can't block. If Triton can block, it's insane. But Triton's been like pretty medium because of that, I suppose. All right, bring in push, push, cut the crappers. Uh, just run it back, I guess. Zdc and Emery has made sideboarding very, very easy. I can see an argument for playing Lana Rolls in this deck. Try and speed us up a little bit. It's like a creature. It's also a land, too. Lateral Elves. I guess maybe a fourth Shaman could do it, too, but...
Okay. Like, turn two gate is pretty sweet. Turn two champion is pretty sweet. The games where Death Red Shaman has been a mana creature have felt pretty good. We're playing against mono green elves. They just killed us in turn four. Turn, turn two Steel Leaf Champion, turn three Double Lord, turn four Lord, something else. Uh, I'm pretty sure we gotta keep this. Just Wayfinder to Playcraft for the play. Being the players, being the draw is very different. Try to find a black land off our Wayfinder. OG. Now, Magic Online started with 7th edition, around when I started. This was the OG Lana Ralphs on Magic Online back in the day. Back in the day, if you can believe this, on Magic Online, 7th edition cards were the hippest cards you could own. Those are the old borders. 7th so edition cards were the beta cards on uh, on Magic Online. So, like, 7th edition Painland, 7th edition Volcanic Hammer. Those are like the coolest version of the card you can get. All right, so we drew our, our black source, which is great. It's a good one too. So our hand seems pretty good this game. Turn two Steel Age champion again. Of, why not? Why not? You know, why not? This time it's fine though. We've got. Playcrafter and Hostage Taker and all sorts of stuff, so. That's it, Rope Burn. That, that starter kit was where I started playing Magic. That exact box. If it wasn't for that box, you would not be watching me right now. Alright, so... We draw an untap land, we just hostage taker the Steel Leaf Champion. If we don't, we can just champion. Which is fine. We can jump too if we like feel like we need to. Okay, that's it? Alright, that's not bad for us. They're not killing us in turn four of this game. That's pretty pretty cons considerate of them. Um, I think we're going to just Wayfinder or Minister here over Champion. I guess Champion finds uh, helps find a, a gate. Yeah, let's play Champion. Drew a black source too. It's kind of cool. Um, ship like Minister. Is Minister Sanctum? I wouldn't mind the fifth land honestly, because the, the fifth land allows us to uh to draw a gate and play it immediately. But we have a, a wayfinder in our hand anyway, so we're definitely playing Ostaker next turn. Excuse me. I think our ministers aren't even good. Shit, the minister. Let's play this. There you go. Probably chump blocking next turn. Uh, honestly. Yeah. What well, after? Like on turn four, the ministers like we already have six creatures in our graveyard, or we have five, I guess. But so the ministers aren't really as important.
you know, like main phase company or no? It's another Steel Leaf champion, sure. Do people still think that Breach is a good deck? It definitely is a good deck. You need you need to like know how to navigate the hate, but the deck is certainly quite powerful. It's pretty annoying to play against too. They have three cards in hand. Interesting. Uh, Wayfinder. I mean... Could have like Assassin's Trophy or something, honestly. Which you probably just die to. If we get to cast their Steel Leaf Champion, I think we're in good shape. But they seem to be flooding a bit too, which is good for us. Alright, take it easy. Alright, up on it. You need to chill out. Okay. I think we're dead, folks. We're just at six. Too many Steel Leaf champions. Just too many. So we cast champion. We'll have three. I guess we're, we're going to go to one, I guess. All right, I guess. Okay. Big whiff skis on the old Wayfinder, which really isn't the end of the world, I guess, but... They have one card left, and we need to produce a blocker next turn that can stop Steel Leaf Champion. Do I think a Femia could be viable in this deck? Doesn't that exile enchantments? Yeah, I mean the seventh land was definitely nice there, but it probably comes in on comes in tapped anyway, or or, or costs life. So. Man, I'm I'm sorry, sorry, Jubals. We just got styled on this league. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, our opponents just just took us out back and just beat us. Um, I don't know what to tell you. It does feel like we're struggling to get gate. Uh, it does seem very difficult for us to the games we don't find a gate. We're just kind of spinning around doing nothing. Um, and I don't know how to solve that problem realistically. Could add like a treasure mage. Um, I mean, really easy. Sinisi's gone. Emery's gone. I think one hostage shaker can go. Uh, add Deathrite Shaman. And I guess add like a treasure mage, I guess. Uh, trophy, a trophy mage, whatever. I mean, Glenda's screen... We only have six artifacts in our deck, you know? So, like, I guess Trophy Mage. I like the fourth Death of our Shaman a lot, I think. Um, maybe we cut, like, a Triton and put, like, two Pushes main to have a little, little removal of some kind. Um, I think the deck is fundamentally flawed. It just needs... Oh, we want, like, a Euro or two, right? We just need things to do, honestly. We just it just like you just have to find gate, because like the the package is working, you know, like the the um, supplier, death right minister, and so on and so forth. That works, but 
we need to do things that are good we're not drawing gate. Our mana base also hurt a bit. I don't think explore bridges are good enough. Like, you know, you're going to play a, a Merfolk Branch Walker against your, your combo opponent. Like, you know, they're less combo decks, maybe, sure, but they don't feel like raid fast, grave fast enough. And the problem is, they're good if they're blocking and trading, but all these games we lost, we just couldn't block. They just had Flyers or Steel Leaf Champion. So, whether it's Meyer Triton or Branch Walker, you know? Better than Seder Wayfinder? You're out of your mind. Wayfinder's the best card in the deck. Like, Wayfinder's great. Um, so, yeah. I think if I were to play this deck again, I would go like this. Um, Euro gives us a thing to do that's not... Um, that's not just uh, trying to find Gate. It's not a, not a bad plan B. And then sideboard-wise, I don't know. Just not sure what we should do in the sideboard. Uh, Thief of Sanity seemed medium. Um, is there like a Planeswalker we can play or something? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, we were, th we were thinking about playing uh, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Tamiya is not good because it, it, it uses the graveyard. The whole point is to have a card that doesn't, doesn't use the graveyard. Um, we considered Glint Sleeve Siphoner. I mean, that could be a thing, but that eh, just seems kind of medium. It's hard to get the deck away from the graveyard. Realistically, it's just like all of our cards are just graveyard cards anyway. So maybe we just want the Rex Sages. Maybe like Assassin's Trophies better, or mixtures. Trophy over Sage. So if I were to try again, I think I'd play this. Um, but the deck does seem inconsistent. It sucks because the engine seems to flow really well, but we just can't find the gate well enough. So, deck's definitely cool. Um, seems fun, but does seem inconsistent. I think we did get shellacked pretty hard a lot of those games. I don't think that was, I think that was like a, you know, we went 1-4, but it didn't feel that bad. We just got, we just got run over so many times by really good hands. But, um... Deck seems really cool. I think Playcrafter is awesome. Uh, I definitely love the Playcrafter edition. Uh, and yeah, deck seems cool. So, big thanks to Jubals for the uh, the uh, the league. Hope you enjoyed your extra bonus match too. Uh, hopefully, the bonus match makes up for getting shellacked over and over again. And uh, big thanks, of course. Any questions? Ask him in chat. Uh, we have more your deck live today. We have one more deck to play, and it's a wild one. Uh, Young Reefy. That's right. So this deck is next. But you two folks, please. You gotta like, you gotta comment, you gotta subscribe. All right, this is the end for you and me. For this video, at least. There's more videos, though. So watch some more videos, all right? Love you, YouTube. Thanks for watching.